I'm Anil Kumar and here is a thinking question for us where we are going to find equation of a quadratic function using x-intercepts. Remember this video is for grade 10 students who have not yet learned the vertex form. So you cannot use the vertex form. I have spelled it out in my question also. Now the question here is a parabola has a vertex minus 3, 7 and one x-intercept is minus 11. Find the other x-intercept and y-intercept without using vertex form of the equation. Correct? So that's the question for you. It's a thinking problem. You can pause the video, think about it, answer and then look into my suggestion. So let me first explain how we'll, we find the other x-intercept, which I've already done in, in another video. right? So what I'll do here is quickly uh, go through it. A parabola has vertex of minus 3, 7. So that means somewhere along this line, which is going through minus 3, right? Now, uh, let me first sketch a rough diagram here, and then we'll just uh, try to solve it, okay? So in this particular case, what we know is that one of the x-intercept is minus 11. X is, is here going through minus 3 and 7, right? So this is y value is 7 for us. We need to find the other x-intercept. How are you going to find it? Since we know that the x is x equals to minus 3, then the two x-intercepts should be same distance away from minus 3, right? Now here we can calculate distance between minus 11 and minus 3 is 8 units, correct? minus 3 minus 11. So we can write minus 3 minus of minus 11 which is 8. Therefore distance between a point should be also 8 more than minus 3. Correct? So if I add 8 to minus 3 what do I get? So if I do minus 3 plus 8 I will get the next point which is same distance away. So minus 3 plus 8 is 5 and therefore the other x-intercept is at 5. Correct? So we have x-intercept at 5, 0. Correct? So that is how you can find the x-intercept. Now the question is how to find y-intercept. To find y-intercept, we really need to find the equation of the parabola. We know two x-intercepts. One is at minus 11. The other one is at now 5. Okay? So using these intercepts, we can find equation. We can say y equals to a times x minus minus 11, that gives me x plus 11, times x minus 5. Is that okay? So using these two intercepts, we can find equation of the parabola. To find the value of a, we can use vertex, which is minus 3, 7. So minus 3 is x value and 7 is y value. So 7, a times minus 3 plus 11. And here we have minus 3 minus 5, which we know is 8 and 8, right? So A times this is 8 positive, 8 negative is equals to 7, or A is equals to 8 times 8 is 64. So we get minus 7 over 64. So that is the value of A. So with this value of A, we actually get our quadratic function. So the equation of the quadratic function is y equals to minus 7 over 64, right? That a value is calculated here, which is being used. And then we have x-intercepts, x plus 11 times x minus 5. So we get our quadratic equation. Now it is easy to find y-intercept. For y-intercept, what should we do? y-intercept is when x is 0, right? So x equals to 0. So we'll substitute 0 for x and then calculate the value for y-intercept. So we get y equals to minus 7 over 64. And if I write 0 here, I get 0 plus 11 times 0 minus 5. And now we can use calculator and calculate the right answer. Correct. So, okay, let me get the calculator. So, 
so here we are so so let us calculate this using the calculator so we have minus 5 and minus 7 becomes plus 35 so I'll use 35 times 11 divided by 64 that gives us 6.01 right so we get the value as 6.01 so now we can write down our answer that x intercept are at 1 is given to us minus 11 and 0 the other one we calculated 5 and 0 y intercept is actually at 0 and approximately 6 correct so that is how we can answer this question I hope you understand and appreciate the concept go through this video once again try to understand how we got it right it's a very important question and that gives you a lot of insight to understanding quadratic equations. Thank you and all the best.